A lot of you have asked me, how do I organize all of my WordPress pages? You've seen my tutorials and, and I have my pages organized into these folders. And I also get the question, as my site grows and I get a lot of pages in my WordPress site and posts and media and it grows, how do you manage it all? How do you, instead of just having this really long list of all your pages, how do you organize it? And for me, it's actually a pretty awesome solution that I've used for a lot of years and it's called Happy Files. I don't have an affiliate link. I really don't know even who made this plugin. I think there's a single developer behind it. All I know is that I've used it for years and it's super, super affordable and it's a game changer for me and my website. Um, so this is Happy Files, it's happyfiles.io. I'll put a link in the description of the video. And it does pretty much exactly what I said. It lets you create and manage as many folders as you want and you can organize all of your post types. So posts, and if you don't know what a post type is, basically the underlying foundation of WordPress is built in what's called post types. Posts, pages, media, and I'll show you a couple other really cool things that have to do with some of the other tools in our tech stack that this works with. Uh, but it works with you know WooCommerce products and pretty much everything that uses a post type. But it also has other cool features like SVG upload and sanitization. Uh, basically, WordPress does not support SVGs natively, uh, at least at the time of recording this. And you can upload SVGs and clean them so that they're safe to use. And they're a fantastic tool to use. And I actually include SVGs in a lot of my design packs. And you need a plugin that can support that. Uh, it's a drag and drop interface, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There's some pretty cool stuff. But what I want to do is show you how I use it and ways that you might be able to use it too, and some really cool integrations. So first off, under once you get it installed, under settings, happy files, this is the, the settings section. It's very straightforward, but this is pretty cool. Under post types right here, uh, again, these are all post types, you can choose what you want happy files to show for, how you, you know, what you want to organize into folders. You can organize the pages on your site, which is what I showed at the beginning of the video. You can organize and categorize your blog posts, like if you want to organize them by category, but check out some of these other ones that I think are actually pretty darn cool. So the first one I'll point you to is the Media Hub. And you kind of have to go digging to figure out what these apply to because it doesn't say. But the Media Hub actually applies to Presto Player. And under Presto Player, by default, you can see all your videos are just kind of in this big, long Media Hub list. And it's super, super obnoxious. But if I come back to Happy Files and under settings, I enable it for Media Hub. Let me just save those changes real quick. And I come back to my Media Hub and refresh. Now I have my organizational folder section so that I can say, oh, you know what? Uh, anything that has to do with um, Thrive Theme Builder, right? Because I organize my videos by that. I can actually move into a folder. So let's show you how that works real quick. All you have to do is click the plus symbol at the top, make a folder. I'll call it TTB because I have videos on Thrive Theme Builder. Click create. And now I just drag and drop. I've just, I checked two boxes and I'm dragging and dropping them. And now I'm dropping them into TTB. And they've left the right hand side here. And now I click on TTB. And there are just the two videos that I brought in. And under uncategorized, which is where all of your posts and pages and media types will be until you organize them, I can just come in here and find more. Uh, looks like there's another one. I'll just drag that into the TTB folder uh, and so on and so forth. And I can create different folders for my different categories. That is for me a game changer inside of Presto Player. Uh, I actually didn't even know until I went to start organizing this video, know that this applied to Presto Player. And one of the, the big things that keeps me from using Presto Player a lot is this obnoxious, really huge long list of videos. Um, so I use things that have better organization like a Bunny, Stream, or a Vimeo, and then I would just sometimes use Presto Player for courses, but this can totally help you stay organized. While we're looking at organization, let's quickly take a look at some of the ways that I organize my pages uh, that you can maybe use as well. So for me, this is my members subdomain where I do all my courses and uh, checkout pages and shirt cart stuff. So my pages consist of a lot of things like confirmation pages when somebody buys a product. I have my free course funnel pages where We'll go over these in another video that I'm working on right now. But basically, anytime I have free courses or scarcity funnels, I put all that stuff in there. I have the stuff I'm testing. Uh, I have my checkout pages. So if you're buying one of my products, I create a checkout page in Thrive Architect, which I've made videos on. Those go in here. Uh, anytime I'm working on like a demo, I'll put it in here. Uh, I have my pro pages, which is where I put all the stuff that Comology Pro members have access to, uh, legal bonuses, etc. And then I have what I call my main pages, 
if I click on that, it's things like the, the dashboard, the profile support, stuff that doesn't necessarily get categorized. So with just a few easy folders, I've gone from 47 pages to just a handful of folders that make sense to me. And you can organize yours however you want. And it's really easy to organize your folders once they've been created. You can click on a folder, like let's say this legal folder. I just want to drag that down to the bottom below videos. I could do that. You can drag and drop. Let's say I want to take my testing one, but down at the bottom, that's really easy. You can also sort your folders using these uh, up and down arrows here. And you can sort pages based on uh, name, date, things like that. Uh, those are pretty useful. And also, if I select a category, like let's say, I don't know, I'll choose my test one. So I'm selecting my test category. I can click the plus button to create and I can actually create a subfolder. So I could do like YouTube tutorials and click create. And now I have my testing folder and under the testing folder, I have YouTube tutorials. And you can easily click on the folder here. There's a tiny little minus button. If I just click on the folder itself, it'll collapse. And then up here, I can expand and collapse all the categories if I wanted to there. So just like you would expect, very easy, rather intuitive to organize your folders. Under the post types and the settings for happy files, let me point out another one that I really like to use, and it is the checkout forms section. So with checkout forms, this is for Surecart. I'll check the box next to checkout forms. I'll click save changes. And now I can go into Surecart forms. And instead of having to just have all of my forms just dumped into one section without folders to organize them, I can start to create new folders to organize my products. So for example, some of these checkout pages are for courses. I'll click create. Now I have a courses folder and I can start to check the boxes. That's a course, that's a course. There's a course, there's another one. I'm gonna check all the courses that I have here. And then once I've selected all of them, I'll just drag and drop all six of them into the courses folder. I can create another one for community because I know I have several checkouts for that. I'll click create and I'll take my communities and I'll start dragging any of my checkout forms that have to do with community into those folders as well. So I didn't mention this before, but you can also just go to your all checkout forms, all pages, etc., and you can see at a glance all of them like you would by default if you didn't have any organization. And I also didn't mention that if you hover over the bar in the middle here, you can get this little arrow to collapse this section where if you didn't want to see these folders, or you can drag and drop to make it smaller or bigger. Totally up to your preference. But as you can see, it's a very easy way to go from having a ton of stuff that's a little overwhelming, especially if you've got like 20 pages worth of pages, right? Pagination to just saying, okay, let me see all of my checkout forms in Surecart that have to do with my courses. And there they are. This actually comes in really, really handy when you have a WooCommerce site and something like a hundred SKUs or more, uh, like my wife's website, she has hundreds of SKUs and she's able to organize all of them based on a file system that she likes inside of Happy Files for WooCommerce. Now, real quick, we'll go through a couple more settings here. Uh, for example, you can disable it in the media library. You can choose which folders open by default. I like to leave mine on the last open folder. Uh, you can choose things like infinite scrolling and sorting and stuff like that. So there's more settings in here for you to explore, but we've gone over the big ones. Uh, and if you do have by chance a multiple user kind of website and you want to determine who can have access to certain things, you can set it so that editors can view certain folders and you can actually make uh, different user roles using like a user role editor plugin and hide certain pages from certain user roles that maybe you don't want to access those particular pages, media, whatever. And since I haven't shown this to you yet, I do just want to confirm that you can use this inside of the media library, uh, which I desperately need to do on this site. I do this on my other sites, but this site's an absolute mess. I have 198 images. And have you ever done this? Have you ever been like, I want to go find all my images and you have to like scroll through and load more, load more. Wouldn't it be nice if I wanted one of my course logos, if I just had a folder on the left that said course logos, if I wanted my brand logo, I could go to Convology brand logos. If I wanted icons, I could have an icons folder. This plugin is a lifesaver on a blog like my main Convology site that I've been running for like five years now. I can just open up my media library, find a file that I need with so much ease compared to having to scroll through a thousand plus images inside the media library. So I hope that was enlightening for those of you that have been asking questions about how I stay organized and what I'm using that you've seen in my videos. Again, it's just happyfiles.io. You can Google happy files and find it. I don't have an affiliate link for you. I just know that this is what I've used for a lot of years and it's worked great.